etymology and historical origin of the baby name Jezebel. Jezebel is a name notoriously born from the Bible in the Old Testament Book of Kings. The name is Hebrew in origin from Isabel, meaning not exalted. In the Bible, Jezebel's story opens up in 1 Kings 16-22 when we are introduced to her as Ahab's wife. Ahab is the tenth king of Israel, who did more to provoke the Lord, the God of Israel, to anger than all the kings of Israel who before them. In other words, Big Daddy isn't exactly pleased with Ahab's leadership, or lack thereof. Yet traditionally, it's Ahab's wife, poor Jezebel, who has shouldered most of the blame for their story over the centuries. First of all we should mention that Ahab and Jezebel's 9th century BC, Marital union was probably a political alliance of its day, as Jezebel was the beautiful daughter of the king of the Phoenicians. As the new queen, she brings her own form of religion, the worship of a variety of deities, particularly the Phoenician god Baal. Presumably under the influence of Jezebel, Ahab builds a temple in honor of Baal and all the prophets of Israel are slaughtered under their watch, except for 100 who are hidden in a cave. God sends his prophet Elijah to intervene, and Elijah holds whose God is better, contest on the top of empty. Carmel. The object of the challenge is a sacrificial bull, the prophets must call upon their God to light the bull on fire. Of course the Israeli bull spontaneously goes up in flames, thanks to God, but the Baal God does not come to the aid of his people. In a display of poor sportsmanship, Elijah gleefully mocks the Baal followers suggesting that perhaps their god Baal is on a bathroom break or sleeping. Then Elijah and his 100 prophets kill all of Baal's 450 prophets. When Jezebel learns what Elijah had done, she vows revenge, and apparently she's a force to be reckoned with because Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. 1 Kings 19 verse 3 Later in the story, Ahab spies a choice piece of real estate, a vineyard owned by his neighbor Naboth. When he approaches Naboth to purchase the land, Naboth refuses to sell. Ahab sulks back home, moping about and refusing to eat. When he tells Jezebel why he's so sullen, Naboth won't share his toys, she chastises her husband reminding him that he is king, but assuring him she will take care of the problem, we know who wears the pants in this relationship, don't we? Jezebel pays off a couple servants to lie, saying Naboth was heard cursing the king and God, an offense punishable by death. Naboth is killed and Ahab takes possession of the land. These sins of the monarchy do not go unnoticed by God, of course, and he condemns both Ahab and Jezebel to an unsavory end. Ahab immediately repents, but Jezebel goes on her merry way, despite Elijah's prophesy, the dog shall eat Jezebel within the walls of Jezreel. Jezebel ends up outliving Ahab, and their sons become successor kings of Israel. God has other plans for the house of Ahab, so the Lord commands Elijah to anoint Jehu, an Israelite military commander, as king. A bloody coup ensues and all descendants of Ahab are killed rather violently. But it's old Jezebel who gets the worst punishment. As she sees Jehu and his army approach and acknowledging her pending fate, Jezebel painted her eyes and adorned her head, 2 Kings 9 verse 30. This small passage in the Bible has probably become Jezebel's greatest downfall in terms of her historical treatment. The main interpretation being that Jezebel is making herself pretty in order to seduce Jehu to save her life, when more likely she's preparing herself to die with dignity. Personality of the girl named Jezebel the number 11 is a master number, and embodies heightened traits of the two. This personality is on a life journey to find spiritual truth. They are extremely idealistic and intuitive. Elevens have a rare and exceptional spiritual energy that brings a sense of obligation to illuminate the world around them. It's a very powerful responsibility, but these people have far more potential than they know. It's important that they surrender to higher ideals. They have the capacity to see the bigger picture, and they possess the skills to inspire others spiritually. Elevens have strong diplomatic skills and can become great peacemakers. Master numbers can be both a blessing and a curse as they walk the fine line between greatness and the potential for self-destruction. Popularity of the girl named Jezebel Coming soon Quick facts on Jezebel Gender, girl Origin, Hebrew